Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a structural design problem that involves a column design using load and resistance factor design method based on a structural design DAO found on the App Store. Design a reinforced concrete rectangular column using load and resistance factor design that carries an actual dead load of 300 kips and actual live load of 200 kips. Design criteria as follows. Strength of concrete, 6000 PSI. Vertical bars, 3-4 inch diameter, grade 60. Lateral tie bars, 3-8 inch diameter, grade 60. Steel ratio, 2%. The column carries an actual dead load of 300 kips and actual live load of 200 kips for a factored load of 680 kips. Enumerate input parameters required. Name of column, C12, floor designation, ground to second, rectangular shape, tight column, unsupported height, 10 feet 6 inches, vertical bars, 3-4 inch diameter at grade 60, steel ratio, 2%, lateral tie bars, 3-8 inch diameter at grade 60, strength of concrete, 6,000 PSI, and total load, 680 kips. Given factored load equals 680 kips, the gross area of section is 210.99 square inches. The width of column is 12 inches and the length of column is 18 inches. Given steel ratio of 2%, column width equals 12 inches and column length equals 18 inches, the area of steel for vertical bars is 4.32 square inches. The number of bars for 3 4 inch diameter is 10. Follow the given computations for lateral ties. Design recommendation as follows. FC prime equals 6000 PSI. FY equals 60,000 PSI. Column size is 12 inches by 18 inches by 10 feet 6 inches. Vertical bars of grade 60. 10 pieces 3 4 inch diameter bar. Lateral ties of grade 60. 3 8 inch diameter bar. 3 sets spacing. 6 at 4 inches. 4 at 6 inches, rest at 10 inches. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.